All right, welcome to another episode of Lifestyles. I'm your host, Craig Sewing. We put a great one together for you with all of our beautiful co-hosts. We're going all over America's finest city, from the coastal scene to the social scene, and we're gonna dive into the real estate market here as well. Let's go ahead and get another episode of Lifestyles started right now. My favorite places in San Diego. We're in Coronado at the Sefer Villas, part of the signature series with Sefer. It's a newer concept for Coronado, but I think it's going to be popular. These places are beautiful and they blend right in with the amazing architecture that Coronado has to offer. Let's go learn a little more. to this beautiful location. Tell me a little bit about our guest you brought today. Well, I'm really, really lucky to bring Chris Buechler, who's the Chief Operating Officer for Zephyr. And Zephyr's a development company that's developing projects all over San Diego and Southern California. And they've done a couple projects here, and this project is just coming to the ground, coming out to the market this next week. So Chris is here to tell us a little about Zephyr and, and what they're doing here in Coronado. Perfect, Chris. Uh, for those of us that don't know too much about Zephyr, tell us a little bit. So thank you. We're a multifaceted real estate development company. We're based out of Encinitas. We do everything from luxury hotels to very high-end custom homes up and down the coast. We actually are in Dana Point, uh, South Orange County. We do projects uh, downtown. We have a really exciting 13-story uh, mid-rise downtown. The park. The park. The park there in Bankers Hill. They have a home series called the Signature Series, and they did do two homes here in Coronado last couple years ago and finished them out. They're just beautiful homes sold in the close to $4 million range. And this product that they brought to you today, the Zephyr Villas, they're going to be the same level of quality finishes. So the Signature Series, they've really built them out beautifully. So this is also part of the Signature Series. It is. Tell us a little bit about what that includes. Well, the Signature Series is something that we started about six years ago, and what we determined was we wanted to bring really high quality finishes uh, to, co to coastal locations in, in really high-end coastal locations and put our signature on them. And so what we do is, like I said, we, we, we're in Coronado. We have three homes under construction in Del Mar right now. They vary between seven and $16 million each. Uh, we, we build a lot in, we have a home right now in La Jolla that just, just came to market at just under $11 million, very beautiful home. So it's, it's our version of very, very high-end luxury um, homes that we build and then customers come to us as opposed to us building them for a customer in advance. Yeah, it's a high, high, high-end spec home, but it's a spec home that's finished out as nice as most custom homes are nicer than many custom homes. Just so, like where we're yeah. at today, yeah. tell us a little bit yeah. about where we're at. Yeah. So we're uh, in the center of Coronado, and I'll let Scott kind of yeah. walk through what, this, what the this homes is, are. Uh, these are. These are homes that were designed by a local architect, Christian Rice, who's killing it here on the island. He's done one of the best jobs of coming up with some nice contemporary, coastal contemporary designs and floor plans that really, really work. These are all four, there's four units here. They're all four, four bedrooms with four and a half baths, and they're gonna be priced into the mid two million range, which is really affordable for Coronado. Mm -hmm. That sounds expensive, but in <laughs> Coronado, is. the average price is over $3 million. Yes. So they're, they're really, really nice products with, again, some of the nicer finishes and decor and really workable floor plans for big families if they need four bedrooms. We have roof decks and it's a, it's a great open, comfortable feeling with outdoor living space and uh, again, in a really, really good location, close to the school and close to the shops and restaurants and basically Coronado is walkable. We're, you know, just only about 10 blocks from here or five or six blocks from anything. Chris, I think one of my favorite features from the homes are these doors that just open up the whole place. Tell me a little bit about this design. So it's an interesting story because back in 2001, when I first started uh, custom home building, uh, we'd come back from the islands and I said to my wife, who was a part of our company, I said, you know, we really ought to incorporate those big 
opening doors that we saw over on the island. So we, uh, we did about eight homes down in Del Mar and we used them for the first time. And we're, we're really proud to say that we, we brought it to San Diego. Uh, it's opened up the houses and the beauty of it is, is here we are, it's the middle of winter, we're indoors, we have the outdoors, it's indoor outdoor living. I don't know how it gets any better here on the island. I don't know why people didn't do it in San Diego for such a long period of time, but now it's a popular trend and you see it in a lot of homes. We incorporate that in everything we do. We incorporate it in the hotel, we incorporate it at downtown, we incorporate it everywhere we go, and Scott knows that because that's what sold the house. Yeah, the house we, we had over in Alameda, they had the whole back opened up to the backyard and had a big outdoor lanai that, and I have that in my home, it's the same thing, it's like one of the most livable spaces you have in the whole house is your back patio, or the outdoor patio, so yeah. And it, not very place is that you can do this, like I say, year round with the weather being as well as it is nice as it is and, uh, and no bugs. You know, you leave them open and you don't have to worry about mosquitoes and bugs that they have in other parts of the country. We've got the best climate and best environment for doing it. It's a great, a great way to make the house and expands the livability too. It really does. You know, if I think for some of the smaller places or smaller villas or condominiums that I've seen, that's one of the things that just makes it feel that much bigger. And like you said, with the weather we have, you can pretty much have an open all year. It's pretty rare. You can, I know sometimes, you know, it'll rain a little bit, but not the kind of rain other places of the country get. So I think even if it drizzles a little bit, you can have it open, it'll be refreshing. That's a really, really nice feature. Any other features that you want to point out that you think are extra special from these villas? Well, I think just the finishes overall, we try to keep the finish level extremely high. We use hot, very high end appliances throughout. Um, another indoor outdoor aspect Dutch, Dutch is we door. use a Dutch door as your entry door, door so you can open it up and it feels like you're in and out and people just love it. it it's a, one thing we constantly hear is I can't believe that the home is only 3,000 feet yeah. or 2,400 yeah. feet or whatever it is because they see the outdoor space and that's part of the living space. Yeah. It really is. Yeah. It really is. And I know some people that have, you know, the outdoor living room where they just, you know, you just go in and out all day and that's where they want to be because of the weather we have. So I think that's perfect. It's a beautiful feature and I'm sure that, again, like you said, that's all those other homes. That's going to be one of the selling points for sure for, the, for these gorgeous villas. Scott, so for those people that want to come out and take a look at these beautiful properties, hopefully buy a couple, <laughs> yeah, we're gonna tell us quickly. when they can come out here. Well, they can come anytime. I'm available 24-7, so okay, we can get perfect. them in here about any time they want. They can reach mm -hmm. me, and I'll get them a private appointment. But we are going to have them open on weekends, so if they want to come by for their open house on weekends, usually between 2 and 4, they'll be open on Saturdays and Sundays. But uh, don't hesitate to call me and find me, and uh, we'll get them in here to show them. Well, there it is. Thank you, Scott. Thank you, Chris, for having Thank us. Thank you. Beautiful location. I'm sure they're going to be gone really fast. Let's hope so. As a real estate professional, there are only so many hours of the day, which means efficiency is more than a buzzword. It's a daily necessity. Two tools from First American Title can help you keep on top of your transactions, either at your desktop or on the go. MyFirstAM puts comprehensive property data at your fingertips, where you can review recorded documents, past transactions, or locate comparable sales quickly and easily. CostFirst can also ensure you have 24-7 access to closing cost data, allowing you to generate net sheets, calculate fees, update documents, or email, print, or save your reports, along with TRID calculation and consummation date timeframes. Each sale includes a number of stages to manage, each with the possibility to delay a closing or derail it altogether. Let Cost First and My First Dam keep your transactions on track. Contact your local First American representative to get started today. When you think of Scripps Ranch, some things that might come to mind are family, community, even country living. But if you're looking to expand a little bit outside of that corridor, come on over here. We've got some European tasting for you. Hi, 
All right, Eve, you've been open now for about a month. What has business been like for you? What's the past month been like? Oh, pretty good. We have the big response from the community and uh, so far so good. I've uh, been very fortunate from the support of the Script French community. So how has everybody found out about you? What's a little backstory with that? Well, I, I used to offer a little bit of uh, uh, goodies and uh, people have been uh, getting to know me uh, through that. And, uh, and uh, we had an open space in this center and uh, I decided to take a leap uh, of faith with uh, my wife and, uh, and uh, we, are, we are today. You know, it's been a long road so far, but here we are. Your great-great-grandfather started the baking tradition in your family, is that right? Yes, I'm the fifth uh, generation baker and uh, we, have, uh, we had a bakery in my village in, uh, in the Alps and uh, so I moved here in 92 work for different hotels here in San Diego and California. And uh, I uh, actually brought back a sign uh, in the bakery which uh, dates from 1840, oh which goodness. was uh, from uh, my uh, great, great grandpa. Yeah. Wow, so he started everything. You've got the sign from 1840 in the actual bakery. Um, and what was the inspiration to move to California? Why did you decide to leave France? I was young and uh, like traveling. You know, and I was supposed to stay uh, working one and a half a year at the French hotel. And uh, it's 25 years later, I'm still here. So San Diego has been good to me. So as far as uh, your family goes, um, from your great, great grandfather down to your father, do you think they'd be really proud to see what you've done here? Yeah, no, my, yeah, I was talking to my parents and uh, when they saw the sign up on the wall, my mom had a tear, so she was tearing eyes. So. Oh, that's yeah, so, so sweet. That was good, yeah. So the community's really taken to this space. How do people find out about you? Well, we have a web, uh, uh, Facebook page, a website, and it's mostly uh, all the people from uh, Script French have been very uh, communicative about us, and they've been supportive on the word of mouth and social media, and, and it's been uh, great. Yeah, it's been great. Um, and so what are some of the things that they can get here? Because from my understanding, you'll be maybe offering dinner soon. People can actually come for breakfast, lunch, and dinner soon. Yeah, we do have some breakfast sandwich, some uh, breakfast item, croissant, chocolate croissant, almond croissant, some sandwiches for lunch, quiches. And we're going to start to offer uh, probably uh, a dinner item uh, once a week uh, in, a, in the near future. And also with... Uh, uh, big uh, Jewish community that have been asked to uh, maybe provide some uh, challah bread. So uh, it's in the work, in the process. So hopefully we'll try to do that. Great. Well, um, I'm really excited to maybe try some of this coffee you've been talking about, um, even some of the, the pastries and goodies that you have here. I'm actually meeting a friend here for okay. lunch. So let me fix your plate then. Ah, oh, thank you. That sounds okay. fantastic. Emma, thank you for bringing me here. The coffee is absolutely fantastic. How did you find out about this place and Eve? So it's a fun story. Um, Eve started with a pop-up bakery a few months ago to sort of introduce himself to the neighborhood. And every Saturday we could swing by his house and pick up one of his amazing delicacies, chocolate croissants, or he would make a quiche and you could stop by and pick it up at his house. And as that started to become a larger enterprise, he decided to open his own bakery. And now here we are at the French oven. Oh my goodness. So you know people that come here. We've been like sitting here just for a little bit and it seems like everybody that trickles in, it's a very community feel. You know them. Yes, exactly. Um, yeah, so this little shopping center that we're in is kind of the center of Scripps Ranch and everyone stops in here to pick up dry cleaning or grab, you know, pizza. And so this is the place to be. So now that we have our own bakery, which we so needed, um, everyone just kind of pops in, grabs a, you know, bite to eat or grabs a quick coffee. And so you just run into friends and it's a great place to hang out. Yeah, so now you just add to the load. You grab your dry cleaning, get your pizza and then you come pick up some croissants and maybe exactly some and maybe a cappuccino yeah nice it's been great so what is uh, happening these days in Scripps Ranch? How are things going for you with business? Any new listings? Anything you want to highlight? Yeah, so the real estate market is amazingly strong here. We still have very low inventory and interest rates are so low. So we still have just a ton of buyers waiting to get into Scripps Ranch. Obviously, amazing community and people love to live here. So we're really excited. We just listed two new townhomes and they're actually on the same street. We're going to be holding them open this week. And um, they're fabulous townhomes on Caminito Sopadilla, both three bedrooms. And at 
that kind of starter price for Scripps Ranch. So one is going to be $4.99, the other one $5.49. And to get into this community with you know top 10 schools and to be around you know this country living atmosphere at those prices is really exciting. So we're excited to bring this to market. I'm sure they're going to be super popular. Yeah, I was just going to ask, do you have any um, idea how long they actually might last? <laughs> um, hopefully they'll sell within a week. Um, <laughs> most of our listings in Scripps Ranch will go between five to seven days. They'll, they'll be sold, usually with multiple offers. So it's been a crazy couple years for Scripps Ranch. Our, our inventory has just, it just flies off the market. And then as far as um, like timetable that people want to live here, do they normally get into a home and then they want to stay? It's really tough to leave the community feel. Exactly. No, you spot on. So most people really never leave. They come here and they stay forever. Um, we definitely have a culture of family oriented. It's very community um, based and we do a lot of programs in Scripps Ranch for the kids, for the families, and then all the way up to seniors. So we have senior programs here in Scripps Ranch for the 55 and over community. So when people come, they put down roots and they really just stay forever. Um, so now that we're in a new year, most people do New Year's resolutions, but you as a broker and your business as a whole, do you guys set kind of goals for the new year? We do. Um, it's so funny. We just had our office meeting yesterday and we talked about this. So we sold 181 homes in 2017. Thank you. It was a banner year for us. So we set our goal at 225 for 2018. And based on the real estate market and the way things are going, I think it's very achievable. Amazing. Yeah. There's some other accolades you were telling me, but I can't remember them all because you're just amazing. So can you're you just... embarrassing me. No! Um, <laughs> so we just got the rankings for 2017 for all of the agents in San Diego County. There are 21,000 licensed realtors in San Diego, according to San Diego Association of Realtors. And I was ranked number 44. So Congratulations. Pretty exciting. Thank you. What's like the, the magic or what, what do you think is like the special the, stuff the that makes you secret, guys so special. Secret sauce of, yeah. Bar of Barron Real Estate Group. That's a really good question. So one of our, our tenants at our office at Barron is really family values. And so we treat our office like a team and like a family, and we treat all of our clients like family. So that has been one of our best sources of, of continued business and referrals over time has been people come back to us because they feel like family. That's so great. that has been, that's been huge. And my mom taught me that in her 35 years in real estate, and we've just continued on that path. And it's it's been very successful. So it seems like community everywhere. Community here in Scripps Ranch with the French oven, exactly. with your business. Was well, there anything else that you want to kind of highlight or talk about that we should know? Oh, thank you. I'm just glad that you came here today. I'm glad to be able to feature Eve in the French oven. I think it's going to be an exciting place to be and they're starting to serve dinner soon. That's so. what he said. That yeah. sounds amazing. You just put your order in, you come pick up dinner and then it's ready for everybody. Exactly. So you'll pick up your dinner around five o'clock, take it home, throw it in the oven and ready for dinner at six o'clock. So that to me is the most exciting thing that's happened happened in Scripps Ranch all, all year so far. Well, thank Emma, you. thank you so much. It was so great to see you thank and catch you. up. Thanks for being here. Absolutely. Thanks for having us. We'll see you soon. certain times in life when you need a neutral third party to call the shots. Keep it fair. Choose Oakwood Escrow. San Diego you likely already know and love. UTC in La Jolla is undergoing a lot of exciting changes. Today I get to check out True Food, one of my favorite restaurants in San Diego. It's got the best organic food at such affordable prices. And I get to speak to my friend who's going through a lot of exciting changes in her career as well. It's a new year. This is a new restaurant. Thank you so much for bringing us to True Food. Tell us a little bit about where we are. Yeah, well, I thought New Year and um, what better way to eat healthier and get in shape or whatever your New Year's resolution is, but to come to a restaurant like this and have really, really good food. Not only is it healthy, but it's also good, tasty. Good and beautiful. good for you. It's beautiful too. Yeah. Um, and yeah, and be able to, to eat like this. 
I couldn't agree more. This is one of those places that really gets that stigma that it's organic, so we don't know whether it's gonna be full and fulfilling. We wanna eat a meal, but this is that spot. Jordan, you're the chef here. I'm sure you could attest to that. Touch on the menu. What are what are some of the things? This is the elephant in the room, what we're yeah. looking at in front of us. So um, we recently just rolled out our winter menu. Um, our restaurant, first and foremost, um, we are a health conscious restaurant. Sure. Uh, we're based off of Dr. Andrew Wild's uh, anti-inflammatory diet. Um, and the idea here is just choosing the right ingredients for your body. Um, and just like you said, it's a restaurant you can come in, you can dine at and enjoy what you're having. Um, it doesn't lack flavor. Uh, a lot of people are concerned that, you know, they think healthy, they think it's not going to have that abundance of flavor. And you can come in here and eat with no guilt and walk away feeling full, not overstuffed, completely satisfied. Completely understood. So New Year, I know you guys have four seasonal menus. There's a lot of yep. exciting stuff going on in the New Year. And Risha, I want to jump back to you. Oh, yeah. I know that you just started a new position. So congratulations. Thank Touch you. on a little bit about the exciting things going on in your life professionally. Yeah, so I am now the director of public relations for Coal Banker West. And so what that means, that, that long title there, is that anything that has to do with um, how we are reaching the public. And so for agents, it's really tough to brand and, and figure out what they're wanting to do with um, with even business cards, website, whatever they're wanting to communicate. And so that's where I get to come in and sit down with, with the agents there and uh, be able to figure out like what, what is it that they want, who, who do they want to work with? Totally, and who better than you who has done it herself? You are the one who's pioneered your own business your own career so yeah it's a uh, this is my dream job so I, I didn't I thought I was living it and then when something else gets thrown your way you just follow where the opportunity goes yeah. and it's a beautiful opportunity and um, this year is gonna be just just so much fun you're one of those people that <laughs> yeah. knows how to listen to where life is taking you yeah. and you really did it this time I'm Thank super you. excited for you so what took you what really was like the main deci deciding factor to move into a different section I mean, really, it was that I found where my passions were. So running Versant Realty, it was um, what I loved doing was staying up in the middle of the night and figuring out new ways to brand the agents. And so anytime that you have a unique concept, it's always about you know the brand. Right. And so I really wanted to take that further. And so when uh, Peter, the owner, when he, he really told me about this opportunity, I couldn't pass up. I was really excited. I love that. He probably saw how well you're doing for your own business. I know you're really detail-oriented. You're really good at working with people. So I think this is the perfect fit for you as, as far as I know. So I'm happy Thank for you. you. Thank yeah, you. Thank you. Of course. And Jordan, I want to bounce back yeah. now to True Foods. So let's talk about the Mission Valley one, which is what a lot of people in San Diego are going to identify with just because that one's been there for a while that was yep. the fifth store that was here now this is the 21st location yeah, pretty exciting that is so awesome so talk about how the menu has evolved how things are different now as opposed to back then well you know a big part of growing so quickly is you want to stay consistent across the entire um, country the entire brand itself so we've branched out to the East Coast a lot in the past five to six years. Um, since Fashion Valley was open, I was part of that opening team. And, um, you know, I feel very lucky that I got to come back to San Diego again and, uh, you know, open this beautiful restaurant. It's a good spot to be. Um, but yeah, you know, when you're trying to grow a brand and, and you go from that five stores to 21 stores, it's really just making sure you're being, uh, you know, responsible with the products you're choosing to use. Uh, that. Seasonally, you can source these ingredients in every uh, market. Um, so, you know, it's just really about building uh, a concept or a brand, a menu that is going to actually be able to spread across, you know, all of your locations. Completely so. be sustainable, yep. cater to a lot of different Most people. Definitely. I think you're doing it the right way because it's that menu that is a good transition yep. into healthy. Yeah. Because it's not just stark vegan yep. or. It's organic, which is great for you. I know, Risha, you know that. And yeah. it's a good place to be able to bring your clients and you will branch out and feel good while you're doing it. I yeah, And the ambiance here is just amazing. Yeah. Like, it just feels like you're stepping into, um, I mean, what it feels, clean, bright, exactly. fresh, and really just like the food, right? It's going yeah. through your body. Yep. And, so true. Um, yeah, and so I, I just love it. And then the outdoor space here is beautiful also. Yeah. You guys, Views. Exactly, has indoor, all. outdoor, which is what San Diego is all about. We have beautiful right. weather. Look yeah. all year Blessed round. with We're amazing so weather, lucky. so you have to have the correct patio area. You have to have, you know, a really inviting feel. Um, and, you know, I think 
you really hit the nail on the head with it. Yes, I think it's cool too because we can see inside yeah. of the kitchen. Yeah, that's yeah. important, right? It is. Yeah. We can see what's going on back there. <laughs> we, are, we didn't know it's fresh. Even though yeah. we can see it's fresh. Well, it's that's, fresh. And that's the thing is that you know we don't want any any walls. We don't want to hide anything at all. What we're using is correct right. ingredients and it's prepared fresh daily. And we want everyone to enjoy that experience fully by opening up our kitchen. This is actually the first time we've had uh, a glassed-in kitchen like that. Wow. Um, whereas like Fashion Valley, you know, we would have guests that would walk directly into the kitchen and come stand next to what's being prepared. They want to see and know about the product. So, wow. you know, it's really, it's, it's strange at first, but so exciting. Yeah, <laughs> and it really, it connects you with your guests and, yeah. and you know, they get to feel really involved with what we do. How so. cool. So yeah. how often do you guys get to evolve the menu? Besides the four different changes, do you get, you know, a say? Is there a taste test that goes on? Oh yeah, I mean, scenes? we have a, a team of chefs that work out of Phoenix that help develop the menu, but it's really, it's a group process, um, including, you know, the chefs in each individual store as well. If you have an idea of a new ingredient that is really just kind of blowing up and it is a health-driven item or, mm -hmm. you know, uh, a different uh, cuisine that we haven't really touched on in a while, you know, it's it's always kind of a, a big group effort for us to really research what we're doing and, and you know, fall in love with our craft and, and continue to expand and broaden our menu. That's awesome. So what is your favorite item on the menu? Oh, wow. I get asked that a lot. <laughs> I could say the kale salad because it's, you know, the staple item. And, and that's, you know, I it's, have to admit that one was, that's my favorite. Yeah, and, salad, and yeah. it's, you know, you see kale used a lot, but the way we use it is so unique. Mm -hmm. um, it looks like it's almost been cooked. It's the acidity from the lemon vinaigrette that we make fresh every single day. Yeah. It really breaks it down, so you don't get that bitterness. You know, it's got a really bright and fresh flavor to yes. it. So, you're gonna change yeah. the face of kale. <laughs> oh, I think we already. I think we already have. Yeah, I like the um, sound of it. always good with the one-liners. Yeah. The, the motto. Sure. Our uh, the our motto. new winter menu. My favorite on that has to be our arugula pizza. Okay. Um, yeah. it, I think it's everything that true food really stands for. It's really fresh ingredients. It's very straightforward. It's vegan. Um, there, you know, so there's no dairy, no meat products or anything in there. Um, and it's just simple ingredients, olive oil, some lemon, arugula, and tomato sauce, which nice. it's just, you know, the ingredients speak for themselves. Every flavor complements itself. So I love that. Yeah, definitely. So you brought me here to UTC. There are so many exciting things going on. It's not just a mall. It really is a destination, somewhere you could go get good food, enjoy, hang out, go to the movies. So cheers to a really happy, healthy 2018. Yeah, yeah cheers. I appreciate it. neutral third party to call the shots. Keep it fair. Choose Oakwood Escrow. All right, that's all for Lifestyle, celebrating America's finest city. Thank you so much for tuning in with us every weekend. And don't forget, you can engage in the conversation as well. Would love for you to follow us on social media, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. We're active on all of it, celebrating the greatest city in the greatest country on the planet. I'm your host, Craig Sewing. We'll see you next week. Thanks for tuning in.